Okay, so let's take a look at how to do question number 11. So what we have here is we have a, a fisherman who's recording the number of prawns he's taken from a trap. And the average number of prawns per trap was 230. And there's a standard deviation of 22. So that's our statistics, for our values for that. What number of prawns per trap would you expect in the interval symmetrical about the mean where 80% of the numbers would be found. Okay, so what we need to do is take a look at this um, a little bit as a picture here. So we're going to have our, our standard normal curve, okay, which is our uh, curve that's going to look like this. And we are looking for an interval that is symmetrical about the mean. So the mean is going to be the peak of the curve. And we're looking at 80% of the numbers would be found. So what, are, what does that exactly mean? Well, we know the area of the curve is equal to probability, which is a percentage. And we know that if we took 100% of the curve, okay, that would be the entire curve itself, but we just wanna have an 80% interval and it's symmetrical. So what we'll do is we're gonna subtract 100% minus 80% which is equal to 20, okay, and then that's the 20% that is going to be outside this range, this 80% range. So what we'll do is we divide that by 2, okay, because the curve is symmetrical, so we'll divide it by 2, which means we're looking at 10% on either side. So what we're actually looking at is, I'm just going to mark it in roughly here, okay, we have, um, if you remember how the curve is set up here, um, if we go to the very, very end of the curve, that is 100% here, okay? And then at the very, very beginning of the curve is 0%. So we are gonna take the first 10% and we're gonna put that a mark here. So this is um, the number here that is gonna be referenced by 10%, okay? And then at the, um, the other side of the curve, it's gonna be 100 minus 10%. Okay, that is this part of the curve that I'm going to shade here. Okay, this is also the 10% part. So that together, those two 10% um, is the part that is outside of the, of the range. Okay, so that means that from the 10% the onwards, so I'll just do this in a different color here, do it in red. Okay, this is the percentage, okay, of where the prawns are. Um, in terms of what we're trying to capture. So we know that the middle of this prawn here is 230. That's the mean. So what we're trying to figure out is what is this number here on the low end the ten, that, that starts at the 10%, and then what is this number here at the very end of the other side, which is 100% minus 10%, okay? This is actually the 90% point in the curve. Okay, so we're going from 10% here up to um, the 90% part here. Okay, and then remember, so below the 10% is zero, and then above the 90% is up to 100. Okay, but we're, we're trying to capture the vast majority of things here in between. Okay, so this is what we're trying to figure out. We're trying to figure out these two intervals here. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, the first thing we need is we need to understand what we're looking at. We're given a percentage of 10% and we want to find the corresponding number that it, that it relates to in terms of our statistical curve. So the function that we are going to use okay, here is you have to use your calculator and you're going to be using the inverse norm function because what we're going to give is the percentage, the probability, and we're trying to find the number that it comes from here. Okay, so I'm just going to label this x1 and x2. Okay, and we're going to say x1 is equal to, okay, the inverse norm. Okay, so that's our calculator function. We know the probability that we're using is 10% or 0 0.10. And our mean is 230 and our standard deviation is 22. So when we plug that into that calculator. Okay, so you need your TI calculator to do this. You plug this in. Okay, you're going to get an answer that is approximately 201.8. Okay, 201.81. That is the low end of that range. Okay, and then X2 is going to be just the other side. So it's going to be inverse norm. 
and it, we're going to put in now the percent, the interval that we're going to capture is we want to capture the 90% mark, okay? So this number is going to represent 90% of the entire curve. So it's going to be 0 0.90, okay? And again, our mean is 230 and our standard deviation is 22. Okay, now this number, when we do it correctly, we sh it should be higher than 230. It should be above the mean, okay? So this is 258.19. So that means what they can expect, if they want to be 80% sure that their, um, uh, their trap is catching the, the number of prawns that it, where we're averaging 230, okay, we are going to be between 201 and 258 in terms of the number of prawns in each trap. And we can be 80% sure that is, we're going to be getting values between those two numbers given this information here, okay? So to do this question, you do need your calculator, okay? What you're doing is you're going from a percentage or a probability under the curve, okay? Figuring out where what that actually looks like visually and then what we're trying to do is find the actual numbers that represent those probabilities. Okay, so that's how you would do that question.